shortly. For the best viewing experience, be sure to join from a computer. At this time, take a moment to check out our toolbar. Here you can find group chat, where you can chat with other attendees during a live event. Help desk, where you can submit your questions. Meet our local sponsors. Here you'll find information about our sponsors that helped bring us today's event. And the information icon, where you can learn helpful tips about viewing a webinar. Finally, a recording of today's events will be available on the Walk main stage. Thank you again for joining, and we will begin momentarily. Hi, this is Congressman Bill Heisinga, and uh, I'm so pleased that you are taking part in this year's Walk to End Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, whether you are there walking on behalf of a loved one or maybe yourself personally as you're battling this devastating disease, I want to let you know that uh, you've got friends and partners uh, in this cause. And I, like many of you who are involved in this, have been personally touched by Alzheimer's and dementia within my own family. Uh, it's something that uh, we need to wrestle to the ground. This is a, this has just a, been a devastating disease that has uh, ruined so many lives. And whether it's been the increased funding that we've been able to get in or the, uh, uh, the expanded awareness we know we need to do more, and I certainly am committed to doing that. And I just want to applaud uh, you for being there at the walk, uh, being a part of this. Uh, your support allows the Alzheimer's Association to reach out and help others in this, uh, this difficult time. This is more challenging and more crazy than more, more times that we've seen lately. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a real tangible way of being involved and engaged. So. Uh, thank you and congratulations on this and let's walk to end this horrible disease.
Good morning, Mason County. Welcome to the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. My name is Erin Murphy and I am with the Alzheimer's Association and I am so pleased to be here speaking to you all from my home. Um, of course, I'd love to be seeing all of your faces in person, but the changes to this year's event reflect our dedication to your health and safety. So even though things look a little bit different for this year's event, uh, one thing really has not changed, and that is our commitment to seeing a world without Alzheimer's. This year walk is everywhere on every sidewalk, track, and trail. So today you'll be walking either on your own or in small teams of family and friends uh, in your community, and others will be doing the same throughout Mason County because we're all walking and fundraising to do the exact same thing um, and see an end to Alzheimer's and all other dementias. Currently, we have more than 5 million people in the United States uh, living with Alzheimer's disease, with 190,000 of them right here in Michigan. And there are 16 million individuals that are serving as their unpaid caregivers. So the funds that we raise through the Walk to End Alzheimer's help the association to provide critical care and support services like the 24-7 helpline, uh, which is completely free for anyone to call. We've also got our education programs and our website, which is alz.org. Your efforts also help the association to continue its work rallying a nationwide network of advocates to speak up for those facing this disease. Ultimately, though, the end of Alzheimer's will come through research, and the money that you raise makes that possible. So currently, the association is investing over $208 million in more than 590 active scientific investigations, leading the way for global progress. And one day, we will end this disease, and we're going to do it together. So far as a community, we have raised over $17,000 to end Alzheimer's disease, and we are making great progress toward reaching our goal, which is amazing work that this community has been able to do to end Alzheimer's. And while Walk Day may be today, we still have until December 31st to continue raising funds to help us get closer and closer to our goal. And we all have the opportunity to even just give a little bit more right now and make a huge jump toward hitting our goal. It's easy to do wherever you are, and you can just text 2 end alz to 51555. Throughout the day, let's cheer each other on by taking lots of pictures as we're out on our walks and posting them to social media. Be sure when you do that to use the hashtag, hashtag walk to the number two, and alls and hashtag and alls e n d a l z we'd love to see all the photos that you have community together this year for 2020 we are fortunate to have two national presenting sponsors alongside us in this fight we've got edward jones and cvs health so let's hear a few words from both of our incredible sponsors Hi, my name is matt mccula a principal in our information systems division with edward jones and co-chair of My Local Walk to End Alzheimer's in St. Louis. I'm glad to be with you today. For nearly a century, Edward Jones has been in the business of building relationships and helping clients preserve family wealth. Alzheimer's disease has sought to destroy them both. On behalf of the 49,000 Edward Jones Associates, it's an honor to join you in this fight as a Walk to End Alzheimer's national presenting sponsor. Today, I'm proud to share that we recently bolstered our strategic alliance with the Alzheimer's Association, committing $25 million over the next five years. This commitment builds on the 25 million already raised by the firm, our associates and communities since launching the alliance in 2016. This year alone, Edward Jones Associates, clients and their families are participating on thousands of virtual teams by walking individually or with their families in their local neighborhoods with the goal of raising $3 million. But we aren't going to stop there. We will continue to accelerate the fight by funding research, raising awareness, and increasing referrals to vital care and support services until the day there is a cure for Alzheimer's. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Lisa Bazacha, and I am the Chief Human Resources Officer of CVS Health. I am so proud to be here with you today, virtually, to kick off this exciting and innovative event with the Alzheimer's Association. 
At CVS Health, our purpose is helping people on their path to better health. And we are proud to stand with you on the path to a better future, one where we can stop this devastating disease. On behalf of our nearly 300,000 employees across the country, we are thrilled to join you as a national presenting sponsor of the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We have made a three-year, $10 million commitment to the Alzheimer's Association, and through this partnership, we will raise funds and awareness to advance the cause while helping families facing Alzheimer's and all other dementia diseases by connecting customers with Alzheimer's Association care and support resources. Supporting people living with Alzheimer's and other dementia diseases and their caregivers is important now more than ever as we battle the COVID-19 pandemic. Together with the Alzheimer's Association, we are inspiring our colleagues, our customers, our clients, our patients, and our communities to join the fight against this disease. Thank you to our colleagues that are walking today, and thank you to each and every one of you for your dedication to ending Alzheimer's. And I'd love to say a huge thank you once again to both CVS Health and Edward Jones for being leaders in this fight. Now I'd also like to take some time to thank some additional companies and individuals who have helped make today's walk possible. So we are so grateful for our generous sponsors, which include Floracraft, Oakview Medical Care Facility, and Ludington Woods Assisted Living, all local to the Mason County community. I'd also like to thank the 2020 Walk to End Alzheimer's national teams who have joined forces across the country to recruit teams and raise awareness and funds that are critical to advancing our mission. Let's hear it for our diamond and platinum level national teams. I'd also like to thank our gold level teams, which you can see on the slide as well, all listed there. Huge round of applause and thank you to our gold level teams. Next, a huge shout out to our silver, silver level national teams. We are so grateful for your support. Thank you for being a national team at the silver level. And finally, a huge thank you to our member level teams, which can be seen to my right as well. A huge thank you so much for participating with us across the country as a member level team. We also need to take some time to recognize some very special volunteers who have worked so hard over the last few months, our devoted walk planning committee. I have had the privilege to get to work with this committee firsthand over the last year, and this is a group of dedicated individuals that have worked tirelessly to put this event together and quickly adapting to everything that's changed this year. So a huge thank you to each and every one of them. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to say a huge thank you and congratulations to our top individual fundraiser to date, Sally Larson, who has raised an incredible $1,245 as of 9-9 this past week. And again, a huge thanks as well to our top fundraising team to date, the Lakeshore Pirate Heads, which have raised an incredible $5,500 so far. To each and every one of you watching today, thank you so much and please keep up the great work because again, donations for the 2020 walk will still be accepted through December 31st of this year. Now you should have all received a set of walk flags in the mail when you registered. I know I've got mine at the ready right here, um, which are so fun and we hope that you all take these out on your walks. Uh, you've probably noticed that one of the designs actually features a sea of colorful flowers, much like our promise gardens. So uh, we absolutely hope that you take those again on your walk with you. Um, and just like in the picture, we encourage you to drive by and see our Planted Promise Garden in person, which is going to be at Laveau Park, which is right off of Ludington Avenue near Staffen Street, uh, really close to downtown Ludington. And this is going to be a beautiful garden of hope that's available for viewing right now. Anytime between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., you're able to drive by and see that planted there. These flowers, including the ones that are on the flags that you have, represent each and every one of you and our many reasons to end Alzheimer's disease. All of the orange flowers represent participants like Alan Neuschwander, who's walking today to support the cause and the association's vision of a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. 
While he may not have a direct connection to the disease in his family, he is passionate about seeing a world without Alzheimer's and fighting to see an end to it once and for all. All of our purple flowers represent folks like Adam Lamb, who's here today walking because he has lost somebody to Alzheimer's disease. Uh, his father, Ron Lamb, lost his very long and hard fought battle against the disease this past May after an inspirational fight for over 15 years. So we have many folks who are participating with the purple flower, much like Adam. All of our yellow flowers represent the walk participants like the staff at the Green Acres of Manistee, which you can see pictured on the slides. Uh, they are walking today because they work to care for individuals with Alzheimer's disease. They get dedicate their time working first and second shifts in these pictures. These are the first and second shift crew, um, and they're all in the memory care unit at Green Acres. They serve and support individuals that are battling this disease. And the planted blue flowers represent people like Scotty Burwell, who lived with Alzheimer's disease or another dementia. And we know we have a lot of folks who walk who actually have the disease um, that represent that blue flower. And unfortunately, Scotty lost his battle to the disease, but um, he held that blue flower at our walks for several years and all of the blue represent folks like him. But there's one more flower that we need to add to this garden. And I'm confident that one day we will have a planted white flower in honor of those who defeat Alzheimer's disease. Addie Lamb, who many of you have seen at the in-person walk and also is pictured on the slides, uh, she holds this flower to represent the hope that we have in finding the first survivor of Alzheimer's disease. And until that beautiful day happens that we are all so eager to see, uh, we can't back down, we can't slow down, we must continue to lead the way in this fight because together we can end Alzheimer's disease. So is everybody ready? We hope you've all got your purple on, we hope you're holding your flags, and this year, the starting line is at your doorstep. So we're going to kick it off together and all count down and then head out and start our walk. And with that, it is now time to walk. We invite each and every one of you to head out in your local communities wherever you are gonna be walking on this morning. Um, and we are so excited to see all of your photos. Please, again, be sure to take lots of pictures and share them with us. Um, again, using the hashtags that we've mentioned before, hashtag and all, we would love to see all of them. But thank you all so much for tuning into our opening day ceremonies. We are so excited to have you all walking for us this year and continuing the fight to end Alzheimer's. Thank you again so much for registering and participating. And we've got information on the screen about visiting our view only planted promise garden. But until then, Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you very soon. Thank you. 